Hi, this is Lisa Allen and in today's review video I just wanted to go over the features of WP Tweet Machine which is the latest uh, kind of like an auto poster from Anchor Shakula and Dan Green. I think I said their names right. If not, I'm sorry guys. This product is kind of a follow-up to WP Fan Machine which was similar but only with Facebook. And so what this one basically does is that it will automate the tweeting of content from multiple multiple sources. It will help you build your Twitter account following using retweet and following strategies which I found in the past are really effective. It will also help you monitor your account growth numbers which could be really beneficial if you are doing this on behalf of a client and they need to know how effective the Twitter strategies are so that they keep paying their bill. Now also it will log the campaign postings which really helps you to know if there's a problem with a content source and maybe you should replace it. Now I've seen this concept done a few times in plugins before and of course some implementations have been better than others. For example some of those that I've seen previously have only tweeted your own blog posts or some of them haven't let you use feeds or Instagram pictures or videos and then there are that whole other class that were really pretty much broken practically out of the gate sometimes you're gonna see those kinds of products as people are rushing to get stuff out sometimes not enough care is taken to really make sure that the product is solid and so this one is really popular right now it's selling really well and so I just wanted to grab a copy of myself and see what was up see which category I would place it into so I actually went and bought myself my own copy so this is not even a review copy situation I went and bought a copy and installed it and set it up on this blog that you're looking at right here then I just set it up in with my Twitter account to see what would happen so I just wanted to go into this as an in-depth review so that you can kind of see what the features are and determine whether it's right for you or not now I just want to say up front that I actually was really pleasantly surprised at how well it was put together the plugin feels very solid feels very reasonable and I, there wasn't really a lot of stuff that was very confusing in here it also didn't take me a great deal of time to set up so those are a couple of the things that I noticed right away so let's just dive into what I found after installing it and setting up some Twitter content automation with it now first of all I wanted to talk about the ease of installation and setup now the WP Tweet Machine plugin installed easily for me. I was able to just use the standard WordPress plugin upload and activation and you know which is is really good because sometimes I've seen plugins that although I adore the plugin there's always that gotcha that the plugin is like 20 megs and so most of the time you can't get it to upload through WordPress directly you'll actually have to go into your cPanel but that was not the case with this one it was small enough and light enough for what it does that you could use it directly just by uploading it through the WordPress so the the installation was simplified now also let's talk a little bit about after I had it installed the setup time now you'll need to create in order to use this you will need to create a Twitter app to access the Twitter API's and those API's then can post to your account but there are video instructions in the members area for how to do that that are really very clear and very easy to follow. Now I might have also liked to see a written checklist PDF of how to do that because sometimes those are easier to follow and take less time to review than a video but it really wasn't a big deal. Now let's talk a little bit about adding Twitter accounts or campaigns. Now each Twitter account you enable in your site is considered a campaign in WP Tweet Machine and so you'll need to add and authorize some accounts in the campaign screen. So you can see here that I really just set up one but what you do is you add a new campaign, you give it a name and then you actually connect the campaign by logging into Twitter there will be a link here that shows you that takes you over to Twitter and then you just authorize it say yeah I understand and then you can come back here and then you can edit the campaign and the different settings and once you have it edited the way you like and this is kind of a nice feature is that you can turn it on and off so if I want to pause this campaign for a little while I'm not forced to delete it I can just flip the switch and it's off and if I want to turn it back on I just flip the switch and it's on 
So let's look a little bit about the different features that are in the campaigns. So this is all a campaign is hooked to one Twitter account and so you can have different settings entirely for each different account and they're all separate so it's really kind of nice that way. So um, here the first thing I wanted to talk about really was the feeds. Now this will allow you to insert or tweet content that come from RSS feeds and so you can add a whole list you can add hashtags for those so the hashtags will show up and, and help people who are searching for that kind of stuff on Twitter will actually see or have a chance of seeing your post there and so you can see that I've picked a bunch of different feeds and some of them are for SEO some of them are for blogging content marketing online marketing traffic generation blogging so all the kinds of topics that I really run with on this particular blog are here represented in the hashtags and these are the kinds of feeds that I've chosen now in order to add them it's really easy all you have to do is put in a feed URL and then your hashtags and then you just click on add it's added and that's all you have to do now you can change the posting frequency for feeds from much more often back down here to standard less often never so if you want to turn that completely off you can so I have this set for much more often and then if you get one of the upgrades you'll also have the opportunity to, to post that as a snippet to your site as an actual WordPress blog post now I have that turned off because that you know and I want to really stress that that is a feature of the pro upgrade and normally I don't talk about the upgrades but I'm gonna mention because there are a couple of different features and I actually have the pro installed so you might see some things that are not a part of the basic package here and so I'll try and point those out where they are here now also once you have added your feeds there also is the opportunity to use Instagram images so you can you have the images and you can choose Instagram usernames to pull things from and then add hashtag so it works basically the same way as the feeds and then you can also use YouTube videos you have a channel or a playlist that you can choose and then you just add the URL for that channel or playlist and then the hashtags you want to use and click add and once again you can change the posting frequency and determine whether they post most of this you know the, the regular one just sends the stuff just sends this content to your Twitter account but the pro upgrade does allow you to auto post to your blog that this is running on as well so uh, there's a couple of little differences and, and uh, you know that might be worthwhile if you plan on, on using curation on your blog to actually use the plugin to do a little bit of curation for you now I also need to mention too with the videos and the images there are some extra settings that you need now for the first just to, to run just tweets from feeds all you needed was your Twitter API now on the video and the Instagram stuff you will also need API keys for for Google and for Instagram and once again there are some really good videos in the members area that show you exactly how to get that so it shouldn't be a problem for you if you want to use those features as well now there is one other little thing I'm gonna let's see let's talk about the logging and the reason why I think the logging is a really nice feature and worth looking at is that in the past some of the tweeting plugins that I have used have failed to post but there has not been any way for me to find out why or what happened just I know that it's just stopped working or it's not working very often but WP Tweet Machine actually does log all of its activity on a campaign and so you can not only see what links were posted and when they were posted but you can see which ones succeeded which ones failed and you can get a basic error code so in this one you can see that here is all the stuff that it has tweeted for me to my account ever since I installed it earlier today and you can see there's a couple called error 403 well 403 basically means forbidden which means that the service that it was hitting which is probably this tracking service thought that we we're probably hitting it a little bit too often so it was throttling us from getting the feed again 
and that's the uh, Moz feed. Now, some of the time it has posted, so it, it does appear that it's a little bit picky about its posting schedule. And then this one it posted from somewhere else. And so this this feature I think is really really nice to be able to actually see you know what went out, what URLs were posted, and be able to really tell if it's working and so that is a really nice feature that I've got to congratulate them on this this is this is a part that is really done right now there is another feature in here that's actually pretty nice and it is one of the features that I believe is probably responsible for helping them grow their actual account following so easily now this is a strategy that I used to teach in my Twitter mechanics course and that is to retweet other people and one of the things that I have noticed is that there's kind of this sense of, of reciprocation between people on Twitter. So if you start tweeting somebody's content a lot and giving them good air, airtime or good press, then a lot of times they'll turn around and follow you or retweet you. And so that is a great way to start getting people to interact. And so WP Tweet Machine can do that on its own automatically. You just fill in a keyword a hashtag or a user so if there's somebody in particular that you want to keep retweeting you can choose them by just using the regular user with the at symbol in front of it and then you get the standard hashtag so if I wanted to pick up and retweet things about a certain hashtag that was going around or a specific keyword that it was appearing then that's also another really good way for it to pick up stuff from Twitter that doesn't have to be in our feeds. So this again is really well done. I think this is a really well thought out feature and it will actually build your retweets and your followers from you know my own research in the past. This is a strategy that really works and so I, I think this is really great that this is in here. Now I mentioned a little bit earlier that there is a pro upgrade so that uh, and I am looking you're looking at the pro upgrade now normally I really don't talk about OTOs in my product reviews because and there's there's a couple of reasons and one of them is that they're not really a part of the product I'm reviewing you might be offered them afterwards but I can't really control those and quite often we're not given review access to review the the upsells and things like that and, and they might change completely from the time I do a review until you actually see the review and buy the product so I really kind of like to stay away from reviewing the OTOs just because there's just too much that I can't control and can't be accurate about but in this case as I mentioned I'm going to go ahead and mention that there is a pro upgrade with a few more features that is really worth a look worth your attention now some of the beneficial things included in the pro version of WP Tweet Machine are number one the ability to have unlimited Twitter accounts linked up to your blog now in the basic version I think you get three so if you want to have your blog hooked up and retweeting like all of these different accounts more than three then you're gonna want the pro version because that makes it so that you not only get to use it you know on the certain number of blogs but those blogs can really harness a lot of Twitter accounts at once. Now another thing that I mentioned a little bit earlier too was the ability to curate posts from the feeds and other sources directly to your blog and you see that if we go here here is the setting for that you'll have the post to site and if you just switch that to yes then it will also start to post these things as on your site now in the settings for this okay in the settings for each campaign you'll see auto blogging settings post in draft mode so you can say yes so that you can have a chance to look at what it posted or you can have it just post it so if you're running a, a this on a blog that really is completely an auto blog you want to set this to no so that it just posts and then you can also have it give credit so show the source yes or no and then you can have like a source label and you can choose the category that it goes to and choose how many characters to use you can also do a little bit of an intro and an outro with some spin tags in there so those are all features that are in the pro upgrade but could make it you know so a little a lot easier to automate a blog especially one that you were doing real auto blogging with 
So that is pretty much my review of WP Tweet Machine. I think it is a really nice plugin. It's very well done. And I think if you are doing a lot of blogging or auto blogging or you're using Twitter to maybe drive some traffic or drive some rankings, this is one that you're probably going to want to pick up. Now, if that sounds like you and you would like an, a little bit of extra candy, I do also have a bonus package that I've put together for you, which you can check out on the bottom of this blog post. And so if you grab it through my link, then you'll automatically get those bonuses added. I actually have like a little membership area and you'll get an email from my membership area telling you where to log in and pick up your bonuses. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed my review, my really in-depth review of the plugin and its strengths and weaknesses. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.